Okay. Well, on the bank. Let's see if we can get some fish. Uh, it's early. So I'm hoping that they're biting. Come on, mega early for this. It's about 6am. You'd never see me awake at that time, so. <laughs> so, going for the drunk dancer. I've rigged it up. Well, actually, my friend rigged this up for me. It's basically size 3 treble, LMA B3 gram weight. Let's see if we get anything. Just check the water clarity. Oh, it's quite clear. I'm using this layer there because I used it yesterday, same clarity, and had an eight pounder. So we'll see. It looks so good. I think you can see that. And a lot of the time, they were in the middle yesterday. To be fair, that eight pounder was in that bush just up there. So we'll see. See if anything feels like taking the drunk dancer today. So, to catch that eight pounder was, I know it's not like a huge fish, but for in here, that's amazing. So I was very, very, very excited. If you can't tell, it's raining. <laughs> it's about 10 degrees, I'd say. I presume that on this canal, I mean, it does get lair fished, but I live in a very small town. It's you know, people don't come here to fish this canal because it's nothing special. So I presume they haven't seen this bait and that's why it does so well. Hyping it up now, I need to get a fish on it, don't I? It's a little bit murkier up here actually. It's a little bit clearer up there, and I mean, we haven't walked far. Switching it up with the retrieve as well. Um, see if anything. wants to hit it if it gets fished a bit more aggressively or that was a good cast and also they will be along this margin as well because it's so early in the morning that not many people will have walked down here yet to disturb them people are doing right now. Alright, the ducks. Yep, yeah, I'm on. Yes, finally. Well, I say finally, it's not been very long, has it? Perfect. Feels decent, you know? Feels really decent. They just can't seem to... It feels really decent for in here again. God, it's pulling. Give it a bit of a let my drag go a bit looser. But it feels really decent. Might be bigger than the last one yesterday. Yeah, he's pulling drag. I think it might be. Oh god. Let's tighten my drag up. I think it might be bigger than the last one. 
last one I had on this layer was eight pound. Right, I'm gonna get my bag off and get my get my net out. See him going. Hope I don't lose this fish. Jeez. <laughs> Oh my god, it's going crazy if you saw that. I've got it tangled. Now is the time to get tangled, net. Alright. Uh, well, from how it's fighting, it seems like a good fish. So I'll take it. I think it must be. Oh my god, look at it. It's fighting so well. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a double. Jeez. This could be a double, you know. This really could be. Look at that. It's just pulling. This could be my first double out of this. Um, out of this stretch of water, out of this canal. I think he spotted me and seen that. Uh... Oh, come on, buddy, you're in some weeds, I can feel it. I think he spotted me and panicked then. <sighs> More likely she. It's this big, it feels pretty huge. Yeah, off, off it goes again, she goes. Get my net ready. My knees are gonna get wet, aren't they? Oh, look at that. She's going mental. Let me get this on video. Yeah, that's a double. I just know for a fact that is a double. You know, when you just know. If that ain't a double, it's a very close double. Look at that. Do you see that, guys? Come on. Alright, let's get her in. Let's get her in. To get a little video for the Instagram. Instagram will be on screen now, make sure you go follow me. There we go. And she's in. She's in. And she's not happy about it. See, first of the session. Right, let me get my other camera set up. Okay, I'm gonna get her out and show you without hopefully cutting myself. She is easily, easily a double. Look at that. I'm gonna get these hooks out and just update you guys. All right, I'm currently weighing her and she is 13.46. She is massive. Biggest one out of here. I did not think it was double quite this big in here. So we're gonna go and rest her. Then get back. There we go. All right. Off she goes. Big chunk. My savage gear has been really nice to to fish with. I'm using the Savage Gear SG4 rod and the Abu Garcia Black Ops Max Reel purely because I haven't got the Savage Gear rod to go with this because it's too expensive <laughs> right now but maybe in the future I'll get it but right now I don't know, it's a lot of money 
I've uh, been looking into Shimano reels. I mean, not to buy right now, but maybe in the future. Or the SG4. And there's a Shimano reel that I really do fancy. But I do also really want the Savage Gear one just because it matches this so well. So I'm not sure. Last little sp Oh my god. Right, I've nearly broke my back. So hopefully this spot is worth it. Jesus. I think something just swelled. I don't know if you saw that. Definitely, oh no. Definitely won't like it. Let me get this in. It's my casting. Shocking. That's better. Um, obviously, just hopefully, one more fish I'd be very happy with, but we'll see. Every bigger fish I've had, they seem to hook this right in their gill rakers, which is uh, frustrating. Last spot of the day when I'm moving. Let's see, yep, yes. Last spot of the day, and what happens? Fish on, certainly little, certainly little, just a little jack. Oh. Maybe not. Might be a bit bigger than I thought. Yep, it is a bit bigger than I thought. Sorry. Right, I'm getting stared at now. Okay, bag on the floor. Yeah, it's not as small as I thought it would be. God, can you see it pulling? Oh, it's got me in some weeds. Get out of there. And then let him swim a bit. He's not huge, he's not tiny. He's a good in-between. Oh, come back. Right, let me get my net. He's a bit tired now. If you can't tell. Might shoot off if he sees this net there. He's not a bad one. Oh! He might get off. No. Jeez. He's not ready to be netted yet. What did I say? He'll shoot off when he sees this net. He looks about four, three pounds, four pounds. Get him in the net. There we are, he's in. All right. I'm not going to get a video of this guy, of me holding him, because uh, it just, it's a bit rainy and it's not good for the camera. Ugh, same thing, not as bad this time. Is a bit hooked in his gill raker. Don't know if you can see that. Get the hook. Pop it out. Not got too much of a good grip on him. Oh, I need that hook. Pop it out. It's getting rested. It always looks like you're trying to nick the fish when you do this, 
people have asked me, are you taking it home? I'm like, no, I'm just, just weighing it. I don't want this at my house. Right, pounds. Eight pound 11. What is today? We're doing well today, aren't we? Eight pound 11, eh? It's the chunkiness, they're so chunky. Pound 11. God, I reckon he'll be ready to go in about a minute. And, and I'm out, out, out long at all. Yeah, look, he's ready. My finger's bleeding a lot. <laughs> right, we'll get, let this guy go, I think. He's ready. Hopefully. You guys can see this. Alright. Bye, mister. Oh, not over there. Over that way. There you go. Off he goes. Perfect. Right. I think that will do it for my session this morning. I'm quite tired. <laughs> Oh, let's just double check the bait. We did uh, unfortunately get in his gill raker. You can see it's just <laughs> being destroyed. I think that's 10 fish on it now. Maybe less actually. 10 of, I think 10 have hit it so far. You can see the legs. They obviously seem to hit it here. That's from my hook, but at that. Ellen may be 23 centimetre drunk dancer. I can't, honestly I can't rate it enough. It's my go-to pie claire at the minute. Hopefully this has been an alright video. I know it's been a bit slow and we've only had two fish but right now that's amazing on this canal. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.